Hello everyone, welcome to another video, it's Francesco here. I hope you're all doing very well and everything for Christmas is going all to plan. As you can imagine, we're looking for new calendar applications for 2017, as well as task managers to keep ourselves organized. So I thought I'd share a bit more about plan. Now, for those who don't know, Plan is something that has been out for a while. They're in about their third or fourth iteration of it, both on the App Store. They have that available on iOS, as well as the web. Now, I'm going to demonstrate the web version, going over some of the features, and then sharing some of my opinions. So, as you can see here, this is the layout of GetPlan. On the central column, you've got all of your tasks, as well as your meetings. You can add tasks by simply hitting here, once you've added a few, you can actually assign due dates to these and also subtasks just by clicking in and actually adding them as steps. So the impressive thing is you can see all of your meetings chronologically as well as with the duration at a glance, which is very handy for someone who's using their calendar on the go as well as on the web. On the right hand side, you can see that this is a condensed version of your calendar. You can actually see previous events as well as the events that are happening in the future. You can skip ahead to future days with the next three days and actually see that at a glance. If you're on any other day, you can hit back and go to today. You can also see any all day activities, which at the moment count as tasks. Now this is a pretty handy application because it blends in both tasks and meetings. So you're never sort of out of the loop, which is pretty impressive. Over the left hand side you've got week view. Week view essentially just takes all of that brilliant day experience and brings it to the week version. You can see an entire week in advance, actually add tasks and see all of your task overview at any given time. You can complete tasks simply by hitting the tick. You can undo them if it's necessary. From here you can also click and choose a due date for each of these tasks, which is pretty handy. You can actually see in advance, oh, Saturday in during the midday, I'm free, so I'm gonna assign this for then. You can scroll through the next couple of weeks from here, another very useful feature. You've got the same element on the left-hand side for a month view, and you can actually hide that task view as well, which is pretty handy, and just focus on the calendar. Down here, you've got lists. Lists indicate all of the activities that you do have as an overview. You can see all of the lists that you've actually created. So I've created general and everything else. And as you can see, I've added a few tasks to each. From here, you can actually create projects. You can create a project by just by hitting the projects tab up here, visible projects and add a project like that. From here, you can actually see what tasks you completed so far, as well as actually choosing a general due date for that project to be completed. You can add as many projects as you'd like to the general and any of the other lists that you create. You can actually assign all of these as well and actually go into detail on each of the different lists that you have. Creating lists is quite easy. You pretty much just press that plus button and it'll do it for you, uh, adding it to the bottom. The final element that I have to show you is the meeting insights. So I actually overview some of the meetings that you've been to and showcases how many you've done, the places you've been and the people you've interacted with. Over on here, you can actually see the most popular activities you have and the most popular places that you visit. Down here, it actually analyzes your tasks in detail, so actually showcasing how many hours you've spent on each of them, which is pretty cool uh, and a great way to sort of keep you motivated at a glance. The final element I do want to show you would be the notification center. Up here, you can actually see all of the tasks due for today and you can tick off any items from here. It also shows the weather of the country that you're in. Over on the top right hand corner, you can add any accounts, see any visible calendars, check the integrations, there's not many at the moment, and see the preferences. Preferences is pretty handy to check before you get started. Something that you can do, which is quite cool, is sync tasks to calendar. This is a very useful feature for anyone using Google Calendar that want to sync their tasks. So that was a general overview of Plan. I think it's a great application. I'm going to be using it in the next few weeks only to use it as a replacement calendar to Google Calendar because I think Google Calendar is a bit of a mess on web and this could be quite exciting. Now there is an iOS application as I mentioned. I'm gonna be downloading this, having a play because I know that you can actually schedule uh, meetings which is pretty handy and also uh, you know, like organize a task for later so that uh, you sort of snooze it. So that's gonna be another video but anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments whether you're going to be using Plan or checking it out. Uh, and I'm looking forward to your thoughts. 
Make sure to have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.